Hi, I'm Myra Ferguson for Ajar Productions, and in this video, I'd like to show you how to make a digital scratch off activity with InDesign and In5. Here's an example of an activity where the user would roll their cursor over the page to reveal something, like a discount. Let's jump over to InDesign to see how to set it up. In this document, the background is the image I want to reveal. I've included scratch marks as part of the image. Then I added some instructions. Let's lock this layer and make a new layer for the blocks that will cover up this content and let the user reveal it. I'll start by making a square. I'll make it black and set it to 36 by 36 pixels. You can make the blocks bigger or smaller to suit your design. Then I'll go to Window Interactive Object States to open the Object States panel. With the block selected, I'll click the plus button at the bottom of the panel to convert the selection to a multi-state object, or MSO. When there's only one object selected, InDesign will duplicate it so that there are two object states. I'll select state 2 and double click to select the square on that state. I'll change its color to none so that it appears to be invisible. Then I'll go back to state 1 and select the square so that I can make it a button. Let's go to Window, Interactive, Buttons and Forms. I'll set the type to button, set the event to on rollover, and add an action to go to state. I only have one MSO, so that's selected as the object. I'll select this option to stop at the last state. These settings will let the user roll over this square to switch to the state with the invisible square and keep the MSO set to this object state even if they roll over it again. But this is only one square. We want to cover the discount section of the image completely so we'll need to make more of these MSOs. One way to make them quickly is to use Step and Repeat. I'll select the MSO and go to Edit, Step and Repeat. Here I can duplicate the MSO in rows and columns. First, let's set the offset. The size of the MSO is 36 pixels, so I could align these by setting the vertical and horizontal offsets by 36. However, if I add desktop scaling, I might set a little bit of an overlap to make sure that none of the image shows through. I'll set them to 34 pixels each. Then I can set the number of rows and columns. With the preview enabled, I can see if I have the right amount of rows and columns and can adjust as needed. Then I'll click OK. I'm revealing an irregular shape, so I don't need all of the MSOs I just created. I can temporarily move layer 2 below layer 1 to see the image above the MSOs. Then I can select and delete the ones I don't need. Now I can save and export. I'll go to N5, export HTML5 with N5, and click OK. Then I can roll over the page to reveal my content. Let us know in the comments how you might use an approach like this with multiple MSOs to reveal content in your N5 exported content. Thanks for watching. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like and be sure to check out N5 at n5.us. Thanks so much for watching.